we have a uniform disc that is spinning with angular velocity omega naught the surface at the bottom is rough we need to find how long the disc will be rotating so here the disc will stop because of the torque and if we are considering torque then even though the normal reaction is evenly distributed on the surface the torque because of that normal reaction will increase with distance so we have to take an element on which the torque is same because the distance of that element from the center is same and we'll get a small amount d tau and then we can integrate that to find the total torque and once we find the total torque we will find alpha and if you know how fast it is decelerating then we can find how long will the disc rotate so this is the side view of the ring so this will be the normal reaction dn on this uh, elemental ring and if you see from the top the frictional force df on that ring alone will be k dn and dn of course is due to the mass of this ring alone so let's write our torque equation so d tau is equal to k dn into r and dn will be the due to the mass of the ring into g so let's call it dm so what will be the mass of the ring that will be the area of the ring by total area of the disk times m so now we will just integrate both sides and r will vary from 0 to capital r which will give the value of torque to be 2 by 3 kmg r which comes to be constant so lucky for us because the torque is constant our angular deceleration will also be constant and we can easily calculate for how long the disk will rotate so now that we have torque we write torque is equal to i alpha to get the value of alpha and once we have alpha because as discussed since uh, a torque is constant therefore alpha is constant therefore we can write equation of motion so we need to find time so final angular velocity zero is equal to initial angular velocity minus alpha t which will give t to be this all right